the delivery of food is essentially the beginning of your food service cycle, but it is also the end of your food distributor cycle, and so you must ensure before acceptance of goods that the delivery meets not only your quantity but quality needs. This must of course be done before accepting the goods. Obviously the quantity stated must be correct but equally important is the standard of goods received and the following examples give reasons as to why all or part of an order should not be accepted. The reasons for rejection of goods could include split or damaged boxes where the inner products are compromised, dented cans, frozen foods showing signs of defrosting, chilled foods that are warm, packaging showing signs of vermin damage, out of date supplies, signs of cross contamination or spoilage, signs of foreign bodies or chemical contamination. As a food handler responsible for accepting a delivery, it is your right to reject any products that you believe may be injurious to health. If you are returning goods, it's important that people can understand what you've returned and why. For this reason, clearly mark on the delivery note the items or quantities returned, clearly write on the docket why, add the date and time of delivery, and clearly state your name or position for reference. As soon as the delivery has been received, the goods should be stripped of their outer packaging which should be disposed of and then the goods put away into their proper place of storage. For example, frozen foods must go straight into the freezer, chilled foods into the refrigerator and all products must be properly covered and labelled, raw meats and fish must be stored separately from the cooked products, canned foods into the dry goods store and chemicals into the chemical store. All new goods should be placed to the back and the older goods brought to the front so as to be used first.